Whether you love him or hate him, Bastion is coming to the meta. Whether you like it or not, it's, it's here. It's here. So recently, Blizzard has given Bastion a complete overhaul. A complete overhaul. Just from start to finish, they have changed Bastion so much that he he is whenever he comes to the uh to the live servers he's going to be overpowered there's no way around that there's no way to hide that bastion whenever he comes to the live servers is going to be overpowered and i think that he will get nerfed uh relatively soon but the question of course is how soon will he be nerfed before season four will be he will he be nerfed after season four when will bastion be nerfed because i would love to see bastion be playable in certain comps but then again, if he's just like this psychotically strong character, what can we do about it? So I'm going to quickly cover the Bastion changes just in case you haven't seen him. And then I'm going to talk for a little bit about how he changes the meta or how he I think he's going to change the meta, how he could change the meta. Uh, and be sure to stick around until the end because I want to know what you guys think. And I have a couple of questions for you at the very end of the video. So there's a whole list of Bastion changes, so I'm just going to quickly go through it. Uh, and once we get done with the section, each section, sentry, recon, uh, tank mode, everything like that, I'm going to kind of talk a little bit about it and how, how that changes how Bastion's played. So he can deploy in one second as opposed to 1.5 seconds, meaning Bastion can set up and, uh, and reconfigure into uh, recon mode and sentry mode very, very quickly. He can move extremely quick. So no more will you be shooting at a Bastion and he'll, he'll kind of shoot back at you. Uh, especially if you're from distance because the, you can't shoot at, from distance as sentry anymore. But he can very quickly just swap back to recon mode and move out of the way and start firing at you at distance. His bullet spread at distance for sentry is increased by 50%. So it is now effectively a very, very close range weapon. And the bullet range is always at maximum, right? So he has one bullet range. It's going to be, or one bullet spread, excuse me. It's always going to be just this massive area from the second that he starts shooting until the second he stops shooting right now in the game or old bastion i guess you could call it whenever he starts shooting his his aim is actually a lot more confined and his bullet spread is confined to one area so he can kill people very very quickly even at far ranges and then it expands his magazine size has actually been increased from 200 bullets to 300 bullets meaning that he's going to be able to spam just way longer than he has been before. And if, if a lot of people are close to him, he's going to be able to kill a lot more people than he was able to do before. Headshots on sentry mode have been completely removed so he can no longer get crits. What this means is simple. No more crits for Bastion, but he does do a ton of damage from close range. Therefore, you, you still need to be careful of Bastion from close range, but from far distance, he's going to be in recon mode shooting at you. That's the end of sentry mode. Now on to recon mode. Bullet spread decreased by 25%. This means that he and Soldier are somewhat comparable now. Soldier still wins, not against not against uh, him, but against like bots on the training match. Definitely still wins it. He still has a lot, a little bit more damage, uh, and his spread is a little bit less than Bastion's even still. His magazine size has also been uh, increased from 20 to 25 rounds. So this isn't that big of an increase, obviously, but it, you'll be able to feel the increase. You'll be able to feel the difference, and it will make Bastion a lot more viable in recon mode, and you won't always have to reload constantly. So recon mode is where you're going to spend most of your time, of course, and, uh, and it's very, very strong right now due to these changes. Now, whenever you ult, whenever you do tank configuration, you no longer have bonus armor. Before the changes, you had bonus armor, so you were very, very difficult to kill while in tank form. Now, you don't have bonus armor, but you do take 35% reduced damage because of his new passive ironclad. Whenever you're in a sentry or a ult configuration or tank configuration, you take 30% less damage. So, you, so it, it kind of, it's kind of a trade-off there, but you are easier to kill while you're ulting. And no longer just an unstoppable tank of, of death. So now kind of the biggie here. The biggie is self-repair. You can use it while you're moving now. It heals you very, very quickly. They changed the binding to it to uh, to secondary fire as opposed to, uh, to your E. So it's now on the right click. And then no longer interrupted by taking damage, which is awesome. Another thing is self-heal actually has a meter that will fluctuate based on how much you repair it will obviously go down much like diva's metric or uh, matrix whenever she right clicks that bar on the right side will go down and then once it's down she has to wait until she can use it again same thing for bastion with his self heal and then of course we already talked about ironclad uh 35 less damage in sentry and tank configuration 
So this is huge for Bastion. He can he can actually do a lot more damage. He's a lot more mobile. There's not a lot of people who can who can just run through Bastion anymore, right? There's not he has he has so much mobility, he has so much power with him now that he didn't have before. And it's just it's crazy. It's awesome. If if you play Bastion on the PTR or whenever he comes out, you will be in very good hands, especially if he makes it to the competitive scene. If you're a good Bastion, if you have good aim, if you know what to do with this new Bastion, you are going to climb through the SR like nobody's business. So as I said before, how will the meta shift? Well, the meta is going to shift in multiple ways. I feel like mainly because Bastion is going to come to the meta which also, of course, means that Reinhardt's shield is going to get absolutely destroyed. We need counters for Bastion. Tons of stuff. Tons of stuff could change. So a lot of people seem to actually like Bastion over Soldier because he does close to the same amount of damage, but he can heal himself for actually more than Soldier. Or like whenever Soldier puts down his biotic field, yes, it can heal allies, but Bastion can heal for more off of himself, just for himself in, in that same amount of time. So that's, that's what you're giving up there is that self-heal uh, versus the biotic field to heal your teammates up as well. And as much as I hate to say this, it means that McCree is gone. McCree is not going to be too too good anymore. Nobody's going to pick McCree for at least at least most people won't pick McCree. Yes, IDDQD will still pick McCree because IDDQD is very good with McCree. If you are still super accurate with McCree, McCree still has a place. The problem is is that you might as well pick up somebody who's self-sustaining like Bastion, like Soldier and play those those characters, which I think Bastion might I take soldiers place in some in some or even most uh maps defense or offense he's very very he's gonna be very strong just be ready for it he's gonna be insanely strong so how do you counter something that does a ton of high damage well you counter it with high damage and i don't think it's just gonna come down to replacing the soldier on both teams in the meta with bastion i think it's gonna come down to something like teams are gonna actively try to counter the bastion because if you can counter the bastion i think that you're gonna increase your chances to win by a lot Yes, Anna is still going to be a huge target, but I think Bastion is going to be pretty, pretty far up there with Anna on the priority list. You're going to have to pick out some, some heroes. They're going to come back to counter Bastion, heroes that can counter Bastion quite well. My idea is Farah. Farah, three shots of Bastion, and it, she does a ton of damage. As long as she is out of range, Bastion has no chance to hit her with her cinch or with his sentry gun and is going to have to stay out of configuration because she can punish him for it. Another one, of course, is Tracer because Tracer can terrorize the backline and Bastion is still somewhat immobile because he still likes to be in sentry form while they're in the choke. So if you can move around the back and somehow terrorize him, terrorize the healers, you'll force that Bastion into a rough spot to where the team is split and they have to take their attention away from the Bastion and away from the choke. Therefore, your team can come in, maybe do something about the Bastion, or you can get a quick pick on the back line. One thing that I can definitely see in the near future is that comps will be built around Bastion. Comps will be built to support Bastion. I could see Mercy coming back because of her attack damage bonus. Mercy might even take the place of something like a Lucio. I doubt she could take Anna's place. But, uh, but it, I mean, again, it's going to be hard to take Lucius' place because he does actually heal a ton. But it's AoE healing as opposed to Mercy's single target healing. But she does give him a buff. So since Bastion can absolutely melt, absolutely melt the shield of Reinhardt, what could we possibly see? My thought and what I was actually wondering from you guys, what do you think on this? Could we see Dive Comp come back? Could we see Winston in Dive Comp come back? Because if you jump in and you place uh, the two healers, or not the two healers, sorry, if you place Anna and Bastion at the top of your list, you can do a lot of damage and you can get a lot and you can get a lot of value out of your dive comp. The problem with this, of course, is is if you dive in and you fail repeatedly because the Bastion just shreds Winston because he can just sit there and melt him because he's a massive monkey and it's hard to miss him. What do you do from there? So since these comps need more damage, because this could this possibly push something like a Roadhog or probably not Zarya, but could it push Zarya out of the meta and make ra make way for another DPS? Could we go back to the 222 comp as opposed to the 321? You know, tank meta versus traditional meta or standard meta, I guess is what you would call it. Could we see that be a thing? I'm really wondering. Also, 
Another person who could come to light here is Sombra. The reason why is because if Sombra hacks Bastion, Bastion has no control. He can't, he can't go into tank form. You know, he can't go into tank form. He can't go into sentry form. All he can do is shoot people. He can't even repair himself, which makes it good for dive comp, right? So you, you hack the Bastion, dive comp. You hack the Bastion, push in. Everybody pushes in very quick, even if you do have a Reinhardt or something like that. You push in extremely quick. And, and take him out and start prioritizing what you need to prioritize, be it the, the Ana, be it the DPS, the second DPS, or something like that. I think if somebody were to pick a Pharah, I think it could actually force somebody off of Bastion and back to Soldier. The reason why is because Pharah can outrange Bastion as long and keep Bastion out of that sentry mode, especially keeping him out of the chokes. So the rest of the team has to focus on the Pharah, allowing the team to push in. It would split the planes of attention, which which is very, very good. My question, of course, is if you switch back to a soldier, does the Ferris switch off or does the Ferris stay there? I think that's going to be a kind of a big thing right there. Anyway, guys, those, those were just some thoughts. I, I really like the new Bastion. I, I think he's going to be a very interesting character to play. I think he is going to be super overpowered. and I think he is going to get nerfed here uh, relatively soon, be it before or after season four. Either way is whatever. But I am kind of glad that Bastion's back in the meta because, I mean, he's, uh, he's a meme and you gotta love the memes but if you like the video check out some of my other videos subscribe if you really like them it means the world to me help my tiny channel grow it, it really does mean a lot to me for to get a sub to get a good comment something like that if you don't like the video tell me why in the comments you know offer some constructive criticism uh you know don't insult my mother i don't care if you do actually but still constructive cri criticism is always better and until next time guys i will see you later peace